Hey people, so today's saw, I picked up the case for this air conditioner a while ago. Show it to you quick in case you just don't remember or maybe I didn't show it. I'm not 100% sure. But it's a hot point super thrust. Now, if you notice, it has a hot point decal where the GE embossed logo would usually be. Now that indicates that the air conditioner is set up Intake on the left side, air output on the right side with the control panel, I think, uh, yeah, up in the top left corner. Now, uh, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy in a way that it's not the, what I was hoping it was because if you look at the chassis, there ain't much left of them. It's toasted, you can see well, that's where the drain hole should have been. Yeah, it's half the base pan's missing. Um, here's the hot point, uh, the Fashion Air version. And this is also missing the front grill, which I don't have one that'll fit. So this is a good parts unit, unfortunately. This one here, however, is promising enough, but is absolutely disgusting. It doesn't look like there's heavy, heavy rust damage that these things are known for. Now, they have a major design flaw, and that's that these units sit in about an inch of water. And it's a steel chassis unit. I mean, it's got some rust, yeah, but I've seen a lot worse. I'm not sure if it's going to fire up or not. Cord's cut on it. <laughs> well, I'd love to fire it up right now, but I'm not going to because I can't. I can fire up this Amana though. These were down in the basement and that gold stars, that's definitely hundred percent resale. I could probably get a hundred bucks for it right now this week. This thing's not even worth 20 bucks to me. <laughs> free is free and it's free money. I'd love to fire this hot point up for the first time and God knows how long, but it seems to be in decent shape. It's absolutely disgusting. It was installed in a bathroom which is kind of unusual for a 7,500 BTU unit. This one here is 115 volts, but if you look, see if you can see if I can find that part. Yeah, there's some exposed wires here. Somebody worked on it at some point. So <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb and say it probably doesn't run. Actually, I know it doesn't. The fan seized up, the pressure might start up. But with exposed wires are, I'm not even gonna fuck with it right now. So. As for the gold star, I don't really care how it sounds. I'll fire it up when I'm done here to make sure I can sell it. But other than that, quiet. Very quiet. Sixty six hundred BTU air conditioner. Really quiet. Wow. It's actually impressive. It doesn't even do side panels up. Providing it works the way it should, it's definitely a hundred dollar bill. Definitely getting colder. Now rotary compressors do take a little bit of the time to build head pressure. But yeah, these two hot points were hanging out right over Route 61 in Leesport. So any of my followers that might be somewhat local, I'm sure some of these have driven right by before on numerous occasions. Maybe you noticed them, maybe you didn't. Anyway, this is Dave's.
cold. I know it's a rotary, but it should, have, it should be going colder than that by now. Let me do the cheat and see if the cheat will work. There you go. Trying to get it in between fan speeds here to try to. Nope. Dropped it a few degrees, but no go yet. I got it stuck. Good. <laughs> Not granted, it is like 95 degrees out here right now, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I'm used to these robust 60s units that get down to business no matter how hot it is. Gotta realize that by this point in time, those days were over. There we go, now we got some cold air. Cool air. That's a pretty good unit for a small bedroom. It's funny, with this one, they had the conduit running outside the house and drilled in through the wood that they had this thing secured in by. Freaking hilarious ghetto ass installation the dude I bought it all off was pretty cool though oh I didn't buy it off and he gave it to me That might be a little bit low in charge, because it's not blowing that cold at all. Even with it being 94 degrees, I should be getting a better, better feeling air than that out of it. But I'll take a look at it, clean it up, and see if we got that. For all I know, the condenser is blocked up. It probably is. But that's today's all, guys. Peace out. I'll give you a more update on this one later on. This one here is pretty much a paperweight.